What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And my name is Lydia and today we're going to be taking a look at this electric toothbrushes or LB Philips and All Clean. Talking about electric toothbrushes, there will be some kind of question what really crossed your mind. The first one will be why do I need to use electric toothbrush? And the second will be what's wrong with the manual brushes? Well, there is no doubt that manual brush is doing its job pretty well, but using electric toothbrush, you will get a way more advantages. So it's like comparing your uh, old phone with new smartphone, like an updated version, right? Or any typical and cheap watch with a smartwatch and comparing your manual brush with a smart brush and with an application even. Mm, and I hope like I was pretty clear with the difference between all of them. And uh, of course, they also have their own pros and cons. So talking about cons, for example, it will be some kind of price. So about the charging time and the uh, replacement head brushes and some kind of space on your bathroom. And there'll be some kind of noise. And the last one will be tickles. But what about tickles? I don't know. I hope you will take some time to get used to that because uh, it took me like kind of three days and stuff. So, well, I've been using electric twitch brush for quite a long time more like three years so i probably can tell you my honest review about this electric twitch brush and the difference between the big brands as uh, oral b oakley and philips what is your dream electric twitch brush in my own opinion it should be some kind of elegant well designed i don't want to see like huge electric twitch brush on my hand not as expensive because i don't want to spend that amount of money on that personalized because my teeth are a little bit sensitive different type of brushing modes are our priority is it to manipulate long battery life and fast charge i think i come up all of my priorities about i like to teach brush what it should be some kind of stuff so guys if you'd like to know if this electric teach brush is going to fit our requirements please stay with us well as i told you guys i find uh this all clean electric teach brush really attractive and on this touchscreen display it shows your time greetings as a high smile and system allows you to change the cleaning mode and uh, you know also in th there's intensity uh, duration and uh, some kind of information about this all clean electric teach brush what about the oral b i will probably gonna say my first feelings about this oral b brush that it was little bit massive comparing with others so you're gonna probably gonna find out so it's a little bit wider and bigger especially the head brush side this side so when you're gonna clean your the backup um, teeth on your mouth you have to be prepared to open your mouth a little bit wider than before and uh, i will also mention about this lcd screen because um, you know it has it's got two buttons, but it's not touch screen. One is power button, and the second one is switch button. The Sonic Get Touch Brush looks very pretty. You can notice only one obvious button, which is almost invisible, because without power button, I will definitely gonna miss it. And when you turn it on, you can see three lights beneath of the power button. They create to adjust the intensity settings, and you can choose the cleaning mode that suits you more. As you can see, all of these three brush heads have different type of bristles. So let me tell you more of each brush design and its own advantages. Okay, the Oral B brush head bristles are made from you as Dupontinex nylon. Oil technology combines Oral B unique round brush head with a gentle cleaning edge of micro vibrating bristles. Well, it's pretty easy to remove a spin brush head and you won't have any problems with the installation. So what about Philips? Using a microscope, we can see it's a triangular tips. Philips promises that this prestige can remove more plaque and these triangular tips remove more stains. You'll probably notice long bristles on the two sides of the brush. They will provide a deep clean for gums. So what about the Oakley brush head? Well, it has deepened and diamond brush filaments. It's premium oral care brushes. And you know, among these two brushes, only Oakley has a tongue scraper on the back of the teeth brush because it's really uncomfortable when you brush your teeth and occasionally touch your teeth with their, you know, like the back of their teeth brush. And with the only Oakley, you can finally forget about this problem. Amazing. Well, all of these electric teeth brushes have their own unique design, special bridges, and etc. So let's see how they're gonna work out in our experiment. And talking about a cleaning brush in action, the Sonic K9900 Prestige uses the Sonic cleaning action, and Oakley expertly also use the Sonic clean action. So how about the IRA? So it has the on oscillating rotating cleaning action. 
think it's time to talk about the cleaning mode. Expert Elite, it has four different modes as a standard, which are clean, sensitive, massage, and white. But you know what? The big difference between all of them, it will be like in all clean, you can have the different type of option to change the brushing intensity. There's 32 different levels of intensity. That's really amazing. Oral-B has seven cleaning modes, which, which are daily clean, sensitive, super sensitive, intense, white and gumke and tango clean. So what about the Philips though? It has five cleaning modes, which are clean, white, deep clean, gum heels, and sensitive. So you can probably figure out that these two, the Oral-B and Oral clean, their cleaning modes can be changed from the handle, you know, here, from LCD and from the LED screen. Whereas the 9900 species, you have to be changed only through the application. But there are three different types of intensities to, uh, to the cleaning modes. They're low, medium, and high. So you know, guys, we decided to make this kind of experiment with an artificial teeth. For each toothbrush, we stained them with um, lipstick so by the end you can see the final results ha 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 we evenly applied the red paint on the standard dental teeth model three times i know it looks a little bit creepy but we got no choice and i think it's really difficult challenge for these two brushes to handle the dental teeth model because it's totally different environment comparing with our mouth as we can see, we have been using these following electric teeth brushes from Oral-B, Philips and Oakley to brush the teeth model for two minutes. At the end of the process, we clean it with the sink water, so finally, let's take a look at the results. So here we go, the final results. So Oral-B teeth brush showed up the nice results. Nice, but not great. We can see some of the part, it has already missed it, so basically it was kind of fine, you know, work okay. What about Philips? It did pretty good job too, but still we can see some of the prize what has been missed and since I put high expectation on that how it will be performance, so it blew up my expectation out of the water. What about Oakley? I think it was amazingly good. Its performance was better than other more expensive electric tissue brushes. Yeah, we can see there's a little bit of motor spot where it kind of misses it out of the place, but generally, I'm pretty satisfied with the results because it's limited up all of my expectations. And now we have already seen how they stack it up with the competition. In my own opinion, they have pulled it off. So before we have been testing Lesko Teach brushes by its cleaning ability along with the noise comparison, have you ever wondered why are electric teeth brushes so loud? And that's a very interesting question here. So basically the noise comes from the motor and it moves to the head of the rotating of the back and forth movement needed to clean your teeth. Hence the reason why the head makes more noise than any other part of the teeth brush. But do you really think that all electric teeth brushes are so loud? Let's try this myth. Long story short, we have a decibel meter. It will help us to measure sound level in a standardized way. The following table shows you noise test report of the electric teeth brushes. According to the test that we have made, the Qantas Electric Teeth Brush Award goes to Oakley Expert Elite. It produced only 45 decibels. Meanwhile, Oral-B and Philips got the rest stage. Well, I don't want to let you confused by the noise test because mostly noise comes from the, from the vibration pyramid it can make. But then why Oakley has a such low noise? The answer is that it's certified by QuietMark. It means that the motor is coupled with a noise separation algorithm that gives it a quieter brushing experience. Many brushes have a built-in pressure sensor to alert you if you're brushing with it too much force. Oral-B along with the Sonic Air has a similar pressure sensor, but an Oral-B pressure sensor is located in the middle of the brushing head and it's highly visible when it's activated. Meanwhile, on the Sonic Air, it will show by their purple color at the end of the switch brush, but I think it's really inconvenient because it's almost invisible when you're brushing your teeth. I don't know. What about Oakley? It has a pressure sensor too, but no lights coming up. Why? Because when it wants to detect the pressure while you're brushing your teeth really hard, it will automatically change the cleaning mode to a gentle care to prevent any damage. So if we're going to compare any, uh, like any kind of teeth brushes from Oral-B, Philips and Oakley and the pressure sensors results, I found Oakley pressure sensor the most intelligent way of reminding our users. I'm pretty sure you didn't know one thing, because Oakley drives IPX7 waterproof rating level for, for protection against water. Meanwhile, 
to Ilka Teachbars from Oral B and Philips has no such thing. I'm going with Oral B application. I feel like only Oral Clean treat you like a royal customer. It because it gives you whatever options you want. Mostly of them personalized plans you want to have. But Philips has no such thing. But it didn't disappoint me that much. But anyway, let's see. And what about Oral B? It has this kind of dental care journey. Uh, why I call it strange? Because it's showing me like that you are taking on too much. Complete your current journey first before starting a new one. So I don't know. Maybe I want to just do it all on together. Why not? And uh, it's kind of making me disappointed. I don't know. I think this is really right time to talk about the brushing synchronization. Oral B and Philips have the same outlet thinking that keeps brushing up to date. So it means that you have to keep. Uh, watching, uh, keep monitoring your application while you're brushing your teeth. I don't know, maybe you're going to find it really inconvenient, who knows. While with the Oakley, you receive your brushing report after completing the whole process. You don't have to keep your application right for your sides. And uh, you receive all of these application uh, reports right after you complete your brushing cycle. Well, most of us don't bring their phone to the bathroom while brushing your teeth, right? Or do you? Let's be honest, how often when do you really use the brushing teeth application on your phone to control your brushing? Okay, you, we do brush our teeth twice a day, right? Do you really use the application every day while you're brushing your teeth? I guess at the beginning, you're probably going to find it very interesting. Um, and maybe later, only less people are going to use the app. Because in the morning, we have... You know, I don't know, so many things to do and it has kind of rushed them, right? And the evening, we sometimes are so tired to just care about application. Which of these applications is the most convenient? I think it's totally up to you guys. I still suggest you to focus more about your brushing technique, brushing time, and how often do you use the brush. Then you will gain a greater benefit from perfecting these things using any of these applications. It's time to talk about the battery life. I think uh, we're gonna start with the Oral-B because you know what, it's like Oral-B, uh, the battery life lasts for two weeks and will be fully charged, it's only like three hours. How about the Philips? It lasts for two weeks too, but it takes like long time to be fully charged, 16 hours, can you imagine that? And what about Oakley? It's my favorite option because it lasts for 35 days, it's more than one month, you know, and uh, it can be fully charged only in 3.5 hours. Here's a question, why are electric toothbrushes so expensive? But you know what, I'm gonna tell you, here Oakley that has already crushed this expensive electric toothbrush theory, because Oakley toothbrush starts from 64.99 to 69.99 USD dollar, and the company was so generous on the summer sale, and it provided like up to 40% off. That's really amazing. It provides such a great option under 100 USD. You don't have to break the bank to get one. Meanwhile, Oral B price was even higher than middle range price. It was 349 USD, but they also provided a summer sale discount, and the price went to 299.99 USD. Whereas the Sony case starts at unbelievably same price, 299.99 USD. I know what has just crossed your mind. Stop copying me, stop copying me. Mm. <laughs> and Oakley will be like, ocean clean. I don't care about money. I care about their, your hollow as well. So, all right. Today, all the toothbrush in the test have a good effect on the plaque and it can improve your oral hygiene. Looking at the study as a whole, it will appear that dentists are right. Electric toothbrushes have a clear effect on our oral health and as long as you use them instructed. If you find Oral B and Philips brushes are too much expensive and prefer a quieter brush with LCD touch screen and you like to create your own personalized plans and I recommend you guys with the All Clean Expert Lead for sure. I've also found that like compared with the Philips and Oral B or Clean uh, Expert Lead battery it lasts for longer and the head brushes are more affordable so it includes everything whatever you need. I do think it's worth making the switch. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to put your thumbs button up and subscribe for more. If you have any other questions, please leave in the comment section and we will definitely get back to you guys. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye everyone.